11 Horry County is taking steps to make sure no major development is built along a proposed route of Interstate 73. The proposed project is part of Ride 4, a continuing phase collecting tax dollars for various infrastructure and road projects. News 13's Adriana Lawrence has more on what efforts the county is taking and how local environmental groups feel about it. Horry County wants to help build South Carolina's six interstate I-73 connecting it from North Carolina right into the state's tourism destination. But some say the current route would have negative impacts on the environment. Horry County Council recently passed a first reading adding I-73's potential path to the county's official map. The $2 billion and 80 mile long interstate project starts in Rockingham, North Carolina into the PD cuts across I-95 and feeds into Highway 22 in Horry County. The proposed project is still in the works as residents would need to vote on the fourth phase of the ride program in November. It also needs state and federal funding. The question only supports the funding of our portion of the road to the county line. And so we're not going to do that unless the state and federal government come in and agree to finish the project from that point forward. Councilman Dennis Sabato says I-73 still has a long way to go. He says the construction of it wouldn't begin until Ride 4, if passed, finishes collecting tax dollars during the 25-year collection period. He says adding the project to the county map will prevent any future roadblocks if it does get the funding and Ride 4 passes. What we didn't want to happen was people go ahead and develop the areas along the corridor. Um, and then find ourselves in situations where we're in condemnation or eminent domain cases where we're having to buy property and negotiate the purchase of property that's been developed. But some say the proposed route could tear apart swamps, rivers, and marshland, flooding rural areas more than already. Deborah Bufkin, executive director of Winyaw Rivers Alliance, says the county is one step ahead of itself if it decides to add the interstate to the county map before residents take a vote. I don't believe that's how it works. I don't believe that's how it should work. So I believe they need to wait on the November election, let people vote and have a say um, in, in, in whether or not the sales tax will even be passed or not. Council still needs to take two more votes and hear from the public. But Di Sabato says he sees it passing through with strong support from other council members. In the newsroom, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.